Hello everyone, it's Chris and welcome to this tutorial. I'm thrilled to show you an improved version of the LED light chaser circuit we previously made, so let's get started. In my previous video, I explained this through hole parts based circuit of LED light chaser using CD4017 counter and NE555 timer. Today we will produce the same circuit but with a more compact size using surface mount device. No changings for the Altium schematic that we prepared last time except for the parts packages that should be SMD packages. As always you could grab the surface mount parts from Octopart by searching for the parts CAD files using the parts references. As for the PCB I arranged the LEDs in a circular form and the whole PCB shape is circular. I placed the power connection and the power slide switch at the edge of the PCB and the LED chase speed controller to the center of the board and here is a 3D view of my designed circuit. I then generated the circuit related Gerber files and dropped them to GLC PCB for a PCB order. I set the black sort of mask color, no extra charges whatever the color you select and I got my PCBs ready to be produced for $2. 5 days later and I got the blue box on my desktop and here are my PCBs very well produced. I'm all set for soldering session, this time I will use solder paste instead of solder lead because we are dealing with surface mount devices. I place the solder paste to the components exposed pads that I move it to Altium 365 assembly tool to assist me while placing the components on the board which helps to avoid any parts misplacement. After getting the parts well placed we need to reflow them using a hot air gun or using a hot plate. I found my mini hot plate suitable for the size of the board so I used it. You can find in the description of this video all the links referring to the tools that I'm using. After getting the parts soldered it's important to clean it with some flux removal solvent. Then here is my circuit ready to take the 9 volt power. I turn it on the slide switch and the LED light starts scrolling. The scrolling speed could be controlled through this potentiometer in the center. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this circuit that you could try at home. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.